Guys, it's Dakota from Fitment Industries, and you, as you can see here, things are gonna get a little weird, all right? Self-quarantine, locked up in my apartment. Welcome to my humble abode, and today we are doing From the Gallery. This is my dog. She wanted to be in From the Gallery, I guess. So, what do you think, Kai? Ready to rate some cars? Okay, all right. For real, you can't be in here too big. So don't forget to add your car to the gallery at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add. And if you want it reviewed, shoot us an email at shop at Fitment Industries with the headliner, review my ride, and we'll get it on the list and we'll check it out. So today I had young Jelly, Jelfrey, Gels, send me some cars. I haven't seen them yet. And I'm gonna use my good old phone because we left the Walmart tablet at the shop because it's probably full of germs anyways. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. All right, so first car of the day, 2014 Volkswagen Beetle R-Line on some water-cooled industries LP1, fronts 19 by 10 plus 27, rear 19 by 10 and a half plus 36, on some Delente D7 Thunders, 215 in the front, 225 in the rear, on airlift performance air suspension. That's what I'm talking about, brother. For a newer Volkswagen Beetle, this thing. Oh my God. Damn. This is sick. I really enjoy it. Oh man, the trunk setup too. Thank you for not going hardwood kitchen floor in the back. I absolutely love this thing. Good choice gels on sending me this one. If I seen this punch bug driving down the road, I'd probably knock someone the f out. Like, damn. this thing is sick. I absolutely love the fitment. It's spot on. Um, with the smooth body lines of these cars, you don't want to do anything too crazy. I see he added a splitter and that's about it. And that's really all it needs and being on air. So this is V-dub underscore poppy. V-dub poppy. What up, poppy? I'll be your poppy. And uh, yeah, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. No rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming. Uh, slap some tire shine on and sent it probably so he can air out all the way. I know the feels on that. Um, some of these pictures are so cool too. The yellow headlight wrap, I don't mind it, honestly. I mean, on driver driver, you remember, it's kind of like piss-filled headlights, but uh, this Beetle pulls off a lot better than Alex's Beetle, if you know what I mean. Interior's super clean. I'm trying to see what kind of seats he has here. Um, the subtle red interior, the, just the touch of red in it, I like. So he has some Braum seats in there, okay. Yeah, this thing's pretty dope. I guess, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'd do to it. Looks like he has a nice exhaust on there. Fitment's perfect, love that it's on air. For a newer Beetle, I mean, this thing, this thing's pretty dope. Got the juicy license plate. Gels, what do you think? So, we're gonna take a look through the Fitment Industries Gallery for some cars that you guys submitted. And don't forget if you want your car features. All right, I'm ready to rate this thing. Three, two, one, nine. Yeah, I'm giving her a 9. It's close to a 10. Just missing a couple things. I don't know how I'm feeling about them seats, but overall, super solid bug. All right, moving on to our next car. What do we got? We have a 2003 Subaru WRX. Okay. And the IG is 03 underscore DHF. Let's check this thing out. Airlift performance air suspension again i think gels is hinting something he knows i like the air ride i got it on the focus okay so we got some work emotions 18 by nine and a half plus 12 all around achilles atr sports 215 35s um on airlift performance air suspension like i said rank 18 by nine and a half with a 215 35 i run an 18 by nine and a half 215 40 and uh i know i got a decent stretch on there so making the the sidewall a narrow, little narrower there that's uh, a little hairy but it looks like it's working and this fitment is right on point god damn i love the aftermarket rear diffuser bumper side skirts front bumper Ooh, it's looking real clean this thing is laid out on the ground he's got the custom headlights on there fenders are pulled and rolled yeah i would assume to fit those boys in there plus 12 is a pretty aggressive offset i love the, the wheel choice and the color of the wheels go so well with this car. I'm honestly not like usually a fan of silver cars too much, but this guy figured out a way to really, really pull it off. It looks damn good. I like, like he's got the carbon fiber fog light bezels on there that looks super good. Fitment right on point. Joe's hitting you with some heaters today. Some heaters, boy. Yeah, I think I'm ready to give this thing a rate too. I don't know what else I would do to this car. There's not too much I would add to it. Three, two, one, nine, another nine. I don't know what to do. They're too good. 
right. So moving on to our third car. We have the 2016 Volkswagen Golf Sport Wagon, baby. Let's go. Gels knew exactly what I wanted to see. So we got Rotiform CVTs, 19 by eight and a half plus 45. Wind Force 225, 35 tires on airlift performance air suspension. I think Gels is trying to tell me something. I mean, my, my DMs are littered with Bag the Wagoon. All the posts, hashtag Bag the Wagoon. I think I just need to nut up and do it. But okay, so this one's a little newer than mine uh, and it's making me jealous in the worst way possible. I've also been saying that I kind of want to put these wheels on my Wagoon and this is just making it even worse. So normally I'm not a huge fan of black wheels either just because you kind of lose some of the definition in them. You don't get to see all the stylings, but this is such a crazy wheel that the edges, like the edges of the wheel that it has, the light kind of shines on. So you can still see the definition of the wheel from pretty far away and it looks really good. I kind of like the black on black look with this, makes it look mean. Aired out, absolutely dumped. Oh my gosh, it looks like he has a nice exhaust on there, windows tinted. This thing is dope. I am so jealous. I need to upgrade my daily game, all right? I'm I'm out here playing. IG handle, I keep forgetting almost. At Foltz Tattoos, Foltz Tattoos. Foltz Tattoos, nice wagoon. So for trimming, he removed or modified the inner liners, fender liner screw, tab mod, slight roll and pull on the front and no wheel spacers. So going with this too, like normally I like a flush look, but something about Wagoons just aired out on the ground tucking. I can get behind that. Or just skating down the highway low as hell. Damn, I'd love to see some rolling shots of this thing also. As for things I'd do to it, maybe I'd tint the front windshield, tint the whole car. I can't tell if the car is tinted or not. Some pictures it looks like it's tinted, other pictures it doesn't. If it's not tinted, 100% need to tint it. Also, I don't know if this is a thing with these, but maybe I'd pull apart the headlights and then that orange side reflector. If you could make that clear, be freaking good. But I absolutely love this car for what it is. He's got the license plate leaky. I feel that. Overall, super dope car. I'd like to see if they offered some cosmetic stuff. I know for my, I have a 2012 and they offer like the Votex uh, kit, which is a lip, side skirts and rear bumper. And then also you can get kind of like an added on wing extension and that looks really killer. So if there's anything like that for the newer models, I'd love to see that. Uh, like a little bit of a lip on there. It looks like it might have a lip. I'm not sure if that's factory or aftermarket. Either way, it looks good. I'd like to see, it. actually, the more I look at it, I think the side skirts everything because it, it's sitting pretty low. So overall, dope, clean setup. I would daily the f out of this, I promise you that. And I think I'm ready to give it a rate. Three, two, one, eight and a half. I guess I don't really need to count down when there's only one person, but I'm gonna still do it. All right, moving on to our fourth and final car. We have a 2018 Tesla 3. Send me them double A's, what the hell? And we got it on Volk TE37s, Damn, ultras, all right. 19 by nine and a half plus 35 in the front, 19 by 10 and a half plus 25 in the rear with Toyo Proxxas Sports, 235 in the front, 265 in the rear on AccuAir air suspension. This, this dude's balling. He bought the Tesla, he bought the Volks, he went with the AccuAir, no expenses spared on this battery. All right, so diving into this 12 volt power car, let's check it out. Uh, this is sick. I mean, I in my area at least, there's no modified Teslas. I see a lot of Teslas, but I haven't seen any modified ones. So when people do these up, it's always cool. Ooh, the color of the Volks on this, phenomenal. It's like that, that dark blue, eternal blue color. Absolutely love that on there. Looks like he has a little bit of a spoiler extension on the back. And then I can't tell, is it a carbon hood? I, I believe it's a carbon hood on the front which looks super sick. It's so weird to see these cars because they don't really have a grill because they don't really need one. So it's just a weird like whoop in the front. However, it is a good looking car. Now this car is also tucking a little bit. I'd like to see it more of a flush setup with it. However, it does look really good. It does look really clean for a Tesla. Okay, I see you, you out here. It, it's pretty dope. So the IG handle before I forget too. Infinite underscore B's 2018 Tesla. No rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming. Details, infinite auto design front lip and spoiler, infinite auto design carbon hood, complete 
custom trunk. So there we go. If I just scroll down and get all the answers I'm looking for. Overall, super clean. I mean, Tesla's whip, they, they're pretty quick, they're fast. I'd like to see like how this car handles and stuff like that on the air suspension, because it seems like it'd be a fun car to just rip around. But I think I'm ready to rate it. The final countdown. Three, two, one, eight and a half. I could maybe go nine, because I really like the T37 and the fact it's on air. I'm just gonna leave it at eight and a half, see if there's more. I think that about wraps it up. So thank you guys for joining me uh, at my house and reviewing cars i appreciate you guys tuning in this is a weird episode i know hopefully this isn't going to last too much longer i hope all of you are doing well out there um hanging in there tight i hope you're enjoying the youtube content still uh don't forget to wash your hands and while you're washing your hands go add your car to the gallery at fitmanindustries.com forward slash ad you might want to dry your hands off first and if you want your car reviewed email us at shop at fitmanindustries.com with the headline review my ride and we'll get you hooked up. We'll get you on the list. All right. I'm Dakota and thank you.